Minimally invasive surgery can be applied to gallbladder operations as well. The gallbladder is basically a hollow organ. It's about the size of a child's uh, toy balloon when um, deflated. And it's present here um, in the right upper abdomen, just below the rib cage. And basically, uh, the gallbladder serves as a storage function for bile that's created in the liver. That bile is stored in the gallbladder, it's concentrated in the gallbladder, and at the time of a, uh, ingesting a meal, the bile is ejected from the gallbladder and uh, assists in digestion within the intestine. So there are circumstances where a person may experience uh, pain from their gallbladder when stones become present in the gallbladder or the gallbladder is simply not functioning properly, it's not emptying. Uh, under those circumstances, there may be a recommendation for a gallbladder operation, and uh, this is a perfect uh, situation for a minimally invasive approach. In fact, uh, the vast majority of time that a recommendation is made for a gallbladder to be removed, that is done under a um, minimally invasive approach called laparoscopic cholecystectomy. Uh, almost never is it done these days uh, as an open traditional operation and uh, that's just a testament of how much better the minimally invasive approach is. Basically, if you think about an open operation, that would require approximately a six or eight inch incision just under the, the rib cage and that would allow the surgeon's instruments and hands to uh, manipulate the gallbladder and remove it. Uh, again, similar to what we talked about with the appendix, a minimally invasive approach would employ a high definition camera that's inserted through the belly button and uh, again, two other smaller incisions on the abdomen to allow my hands to work uh, and manipulate the gallbladder. There's a specialized instrument to uh, clip the bile duct. There's another small scissors to divide that duct and um, the gallbladder, once free from the liver, can be placed in a bag and again, remove from the belly button, stones and all. Um, after an operation like that, patients are typically in the recovery room with band-aids on their stomach. They uh, very commonly are ready to go home two hours or so after an operation. I, I failed to mention that is that um, this operation is done as an outpatient procedure, meaning uh, we don't expect patients to have uh, pain or limitation that would require them to stay in the hospital. And that's, that's really a big distinction uh, compared to the open procedure. Uh, when the open procedure is done, patients are typically in the hospital five or seven days. And that reason alone was enough to um, replace the open procedure sometime in the 90s uh, with the minimally invasive approach. Single incision surgery is a hot topic in general surgery right now. There's lots of um, um, new research and um, lots of innovation coming out of the university level uh, on this topic. Basically what it is, it is a evolution of the conventional laparoscopic operation in that the entire operation is conducted through a single less than one inch incision that is hidden in the belly button. So when the operation is done and the patient is healed, it is virtually scar free. Hard to tell that the operation has even been done. Um, basically, it is uh, utilizing the same high definition camera, but the instruments are also inserted through that same incision in the belly button. That obviously offers some difficulty in the procedure. It's akin to having, uh, say for instance, uh, your eyes in the middle and then your arms coming straight out the side of your head. So uh, that procedure um, is being, that technique is being applied to operations other than the gallbladder. It's being done for weight loss surgery, gynecologic procedures, colon operations. But in my practice as a community surgeon, I've adopted it for the gallbladder operation. That seems to me the most stable and really the most reasonable um, application of this single incision technique. Uh, it's a procedure I've been doing since uh, February of 2009, and I do that procedure exclusively at Shawnee Mission's uh, brand new surgery center, the Prairie Star Surgery Center. 
Prairie Star is equipped uh, to do these kind of operations where um, the technical um, uh, expertise and the equipment requirements may be just a little different than the conventional uh, laparoscopic gallbladder operation. When it comes to the single incision operation, the main impact there is that it is uh, cosmetically an improved operation, but it can be technically more challenging. And for that reason, I tell all my patients that if there's any difficulty abiding by the surgical principles of conclusive identification, then we go ahead and make another small incision and insert an instrument to assist in the case. And really, for most of my patients, they tell me, and I really appreciate this, Doc, I don't care if I've got two Band-Aids or three Band-Aids or one Band-Aid. I just want you to take that gallbladder out because it's killing me. But, but to me, I, I'm happy when I see them come back to the clinic a week later, and you can tell when they look at that little incision that's hidden in their belly button, they really like it. And I like it too, because this is my craft, and I, I, if I can do the operation safely and make it look better, then I want to do that for my patients. I'm Carla Gerani. I'm a general surgeon at Shawnee Mission Medical Center.